kind of neighborhood where people call the police. It's a good part of town. Look, they even got a little park over there. I won't stay in I just need one thing. No. no. One thing, come on. I just need your car. What? No way. It's your car's from the sick man Foster. You're not getting my car. Hey, look, if I turn it in, I can get 50 bucks. You can go uh, steal it back again in a few days. Oh. Who is going to give you $50 for my car? The man at Safeway says he'll give me a dollar for every car I bring back. And if I bring back 25 carts, he's gonna give me 50 bucks. You're not taking my cart, man. The wheels don't wobble, it's sturdy. Hey, I need the 50 bucks! You were the last Safeway cart I can find. You know how hard it was pulling that thing up here. Hey, come on. I'm your friend. Hey, hey, this is my car. You understand that? Now don't make me get mean. I gave you some cool stuff. You gave some crazy killer guys too. Now damn it, you're making me mad. What are you gonna do? Fight me? For 50 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, 
He brought, he didn't obey me one time in here. He took a credit card and he bought, he bought a, a, a plane ticket to, he bought two plane tickets to Hawaii. I could do that. I live on the beach in Hawaii. I can take you with me. Oh, get out of here, man. You, you wouldn't even make it to the airport. And hey, look, once Lopez gets out of the locker, he's bound to notice somebody took his stuff. Well, you mouth off, man. You're as good as dead. That's, uh, thanks. Let's come up with a while. I'm crashing your view for a while. No, no, you know No, no, you don't understand. This, this is my spot. Now, besides, me and Lisa Cop spot us here. We're as good as back in old town. And then Lopez will kill you. Yeah, just think about it, man. Hawaii! Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaii. And, 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 and a plane ride, and, and food, and how we get scam drinks. Like, all we gotta do is find some old lady. Don't worry about it, though. I'm not a grover. You just watch out for the cops. And then when they go, wait, a jogger. A rich jogger would be much better. Shut up! Go. Well, we're after the jogger. I'm not going oh, I'll take the wallet. Stop it! Stop it! Now you can't stay here if I hear any more of this bullshit about Hawaii. Uh, or stealing from old ladies. Uh, or stealing shopping carts. Then I don't need trouble. Please. No, please. 
Please shut up. Please.
Kevin wants. Give us that. I didn't give me a scarf like yours. <laughs> yeah, you should. So, when you die, can I have your scarf? <laughs> yeah, sure. Can, can I have your card? What? <laughs> I'm your friend, right? I come out to see you. Nobody else does, right? So I should have a card too. <laughs> You're not getting my card. You can't take it with you in your pen. And you don't want just anybody to have it, so... The card goes with me. I don't know, wherever I go, man, the card's gonna go there. Besides, if I give it to you, Lopez, and you take it away. Lopez. I'm not gonna get rid of you, am I? No. Give me a seat. So how's that? It's a smoke. Smoke's a smoke. Yeah. Smoke's a smoke. You know, you can be a real pain in the ass most of the time. I know. Yeah. I think you ought to be careful here. I mean, really? I think you got yourself in a bad situation with Lopez. Oh, what, are you going to help me out? Do what I can, man. I'm an old man. I can't do much. You could give me a card! Okay, Mr. Payne, yes, I give you the card. You get your $50. Now what are you going to do? I, I told you. I buy it, must take it to Wyoming. Where? In Wyoming. I don't know. I don't have a, a specific town picked out yet, but the, the cheapest place I can find. Whatever. Oh, well, that's good, because if you knew where you were going to go, that'd be all the easier for Lopez to find you and kill you. I guess I'm doing pretty good right now, though. What are you going to do in Why, Oh, I don't know. Same, same shit I do here. Probably. Drugs, petty crimes. What are you trying to bring me down on, oh, man? I'm trying to be practical. Man, you got to know where you're going in life. What you going to do, otherwise you just float. Look who's talking. What wonderful things have you done with your life today? Hey, 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 I'm different, man. I got no place to go. I got nowhere to be. I can't hold no regular job. And I get by. Damn it! You are bringing me down! I hear about Max and Doc. I mean, I told you about that dog a million times. Come on, man. It'll take my mind off all these fucking problems. Come on. Come on, Max. Max found a dog somewhere. Grant Park. <laughs> Grant Park around Christmas. Max would get sicker and sick. The DTs. Yeah. Then he found that dog. Rather, the dog found him. Yeah, it just followed him everywhere. So, you know, after a couple of weeks, hell, Max figured out that he could hardly take care of himself, let alone some dog. He never even named that dog. He knew he'd come keep him. Well, he couldn't get rid of him. No, he couldn't. Eh, the dog liked Max. You know, he stuck by me when Max tried to shake him off. Uh, he gave me the dog. <laughs> and I just ran back to Max first chance he got. <laughs> he, put, he put the dog on the subway going down to Chinatown. He figured, you know, some subway worker would, you know, take him to the pound or some crazy animal lover would take him home. <laughs> yes. two, two days later, 
later, Max and I were walking down the street there in Midtown. Up comes that damn dog. <laughs> Buggy eyes, you know, tongue hanging out, tail wagging, like he owned the whole damn street. I, I told Max, I said, I think he thinks that you are his dog more than he is yours. <laughs> Max, he looked like a man he's about ready to cry right now. And that's, that's what he named that dog. Called him he called him Lucky. Because he was lucky, and nobody stepped on him. He was so small. He was lucky. Lucky. <laughs> yeah, lucky. Because nobody stepped on him. We took him to the pan. After, after that, man, Lucky was Max's for a good dog. He didn't just go everywhere. He didn't care whether Max had any place to live. I mean, he'd eat the same food, whatever the heck, they could scrounge up. Max would just climb up the car. You know, he, he was pretty sick, but he took pretty good care of that. Yeah. Then I'm getting that part. Actually, he'd take him around town. He taught him how to beg for money. They were down there at the bus station after a slow day and not getting any. Uh, lucky when he's in the bathroom. Sniffing around at the garbage can. Max tried to pull him away. He just barked and barked. Finally, he figured out there must be something in there. So he reaches in, he pulls out. Bag of smack. Heroin. Needles the whole business, man. What the hell, Max knew he could get a lot of money if he got that to the right people. You know, it, so we must have stashed it there because of the cops. So somebody else could come and you know, pick it up. Yeah, well, Lucky found it first. So Lucky he was really lucky. He found that shit for Max. He's lucky. No. <laughs> Max never did find the right people. He was getting colder. He was getting sicker. And then. It, and that guy that owned that shit, man, he found Max before he could get rid of it. They found him in a dumpster one morning, down there by the pool. That damn dog was frozen right next to him. Poor dog. It was Lopez. Oh, Max was stupid showing that shit around. I guess it shows you what's what, huh? Uh, I know it's not easy having a dog when you're outdoors. The dog's pretty sweet for old Max. He gave him a reason to go on as long as he did, right? The little fucker also got him killed. No, you can't say that. You can't totally say that. They both, they both did what they could for each other, right? And then shit just happened. Yeah, you know, where well, it ain't worse than being a homeless guy. Being a homeless guy dog. <laughs> there. What? There's some wisdom. Man, that ain't no wisdom. Man, that's just the truth. Man, Max can barely feed himself, let alone some dog. Man, you can imagine what that dog had to do to survive. Man, that's some low ass shit being a homeless guy dog. Yeah, but. You got some attention though, right? Somebody to take care of for a little while, right? At least they were both pretty happy. A little while. Mm -hmm. Until they died. <laughs> well, take the car. What? Just take it and get the hell out of here. Do something today besides bother me here. You're saying I got a car? Yeah. I 
just got to get a few things out of it.
You can't just give it to me. You're fucked up, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> I am not taking this. Oh, wait, you can take low and stuff, but you can't take this. Look, this ain't stealing, all right? This is charity. And I don't take fucking charity, OK? I've got a job. Oh, it's more money. Oh, shit. You got some job that forces you to steal from your friends? Man, that's some tripped out idea of employment. Screw it. I just find some guy who has what I want and thinks he's better than me and knock him over. Oh, whoa, wait, wait. Earlier today, you were going to take my car. You thought I was better than you, huh? Now, now you don't want my car. I think that, uh, think you were better than me? Take the goddamn car, fuck oh, Fuck you! Hey, what the hell do you think you're going to do? Ride off the wild me like some stupid cowboy? I mean, you don't think Lopez's going to fuck you? Get out of town! What? You want me to take the car and get your $50? I Man, you can't get nowhere no $50. So, say here, right? Lopez ain't going to find me here, right? What the hell he won't? He's got a hundred little shits working for it. Little crack smoking kids, they know everything that goes on in the street. Man, he's got, he's got guys like you watching silly old men walk out of the city in the suburbs. And now he probably knows you're here right now. He doesn't know. He can't know. But what if he does know? I'll take him out. Oh, now nah, that's some funny stuff. <laughs> but that is funny, because you can barely whoop my shit. <laughs> I know that stuff is a hundred times tougher.
You haven't seen Belf around, have you? Belf? No, I, I figured he got picked up in the sweep with the rest of you guys. <laughs> no, not all of us. Belf got away. At least that's what Sweetie said. Sweetie said that, huh? I guess the cops got him then, huh? No. Sweetie's dead. See, man, I got picked up. Seems somebody stole something of mine. So when I got out, I had to make sense out of what had happened. You know, man, I can't, I, I can't just can't sit there and be lied to. And sweetie, oh man, he was floating some lies. And I, he said that Pelf took something of mine. He got in a fight with me. Ah, uh, Sweetie said Pelf did that, huh? Man, it was a shame about Sweetie, but you know, man, I, you know how I hate being lied to, don't you? Know? Yeah, I know what that's like. So, now you sure you haven't seen him, Bill? Because, man, it is really important that I talk to him. Well, it would be bad if you were lying to me about this situation, seeing what happened to Sweetie and all. Yeah. I don't know where he gets his stuff. Where'd you get it? Come on. See, he won't talk to 
to me. I tried to get him to say something, anything, but I won't say anything. You know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking? I think, maybe, I'll take him and he and I will go get some food. That'd be all right. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. Let me get a look at it.
guess I'll send you back to old town. Repent. Thank <laughs> you. 